this is Dr. John Trombley here at Georgia College and State University. And today we're going to be tackling one of the common problems in chemistry, and that is taking information that we have obtained from our instrument and converting it into the values and the information type that we actually care about. So in this case, I've got some data. It's all made up, but uh, it definitely represents a common case scenario. So in this case, uh, the scenario is that I've gone into the lab and I've been measuring protein concentration. And I've got something that I want to know what its concentration of protein is. And the way I did this is I went to a spectrometer and I measured absorbance at 280 nanometers, a very standard approach. Now, I've got the value for its absorbance at 280 nanometers, but that is not the concentration of the protein. That's its absorbance. I want to know concentration. So in order to get that, what I would have also done in the lab is measured some standard solutions. I would have taken my protein that I'm working with, or at least one that's close to it if I, if I can't use the one that I'm working with, and I will have either purchased or made some solutions, and I will make sure that I know their concentration to the best of my ability. Now, I've only got one lousy sig fig here, so hopefully you do more than this. I, this was real, I would have more than one sig fig. So I know that, say, standard one is 0.05 milligrams of protein per milliliter of solution. Standard five is 0.4, you know. Okay, so I've got this information. Now, what I'll do is I'll take these guys, and I want to graph it. So I'm going to highlight these guys, go to insert, go to graph, do a scatter plot. If I'm going to turn this into a report, I'll gussy this up some. I'll do stuff like add a title, put some title on the axes, etc. But for now, yeah, let's just go for it. So I'm going to click on and right click on one of my data points. And I'm going to add a trend line because really what I care about is the trend line, not the graph. So I'm going to display the equation and I'll display R squared. And while I'm at it, I am going to get rid of these cross hatches because they are annoying. Okay, this is the information I want. Let's start with the R squared. This is describing the percentage of the y-axis that's being described by the x-axis. Ideally, one, and one would stand for 100%. It's perfect. You basically never get one. Now, uh, what good enough is depends on what field you're in. Some of the social sciences, they'll say 0 0.7. 70% of your y-axis is being described by your x-axis. In chemistry, that is hardly not okay. We're looking at something like 99.999%. Well, right now we've got 99.99, so four nines. That's okay for what we're going to be doing. Now, we have got the equation of our line. We can use that to solve for it. Now, that said, though, we know y, the absorbance. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get myself a number. So I'm going to say equals, and then I'm going to do a parenthesis because I know I'm going to need one of those. I'm going to grab my absorbance value. I'm going to subtract the B, so this point oh oh four two. This is kind of the absorption that's somehow being added to all of my samples. Maybe this is from the cuvette. I'm not quite for sure what's going on. Ideally, that would be zero. In practice, it almost never is. Okay, uh, I want to make sure there's some parentheses there. Otherwise, the algebra will get all messed up, and it will try and divide the wrong things. So I'm now going to divide uh, by my slope, which is two point. 3312. Uh, of course, what you see I'm doing is I'm simply rearranging the algebra so that x is by itself. Okay, uh, so I hit enter, and that is my concentration. Of course, way too many sig figs, so format cells, number, eh, let's call it two, even though really I only get one. Now, I know my concentration. Um, wasn't too hard. This works if you're doing proteins or Really, anything else where you've got some standards and you've got some measured values, you need to figure out what they mean. So, happy uh, Excel working for y'all.